Is it aliens? I think it may be aliens. What's happening, Captains? Snoopaloo here, and I'm excited. We finally got enough horror trailers to put on the Snoopaloo Reacts channel. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, already seen it. <laughs> I liked it. It was a fun horror movie. The other two, damn. Can't wait. Nope. Firestarter looks freaky. It's, it's a good time period right now for horror movies, I feel. It's back and forth. No, time period is the wrong term. Because you get good horror movies every now and then. Doesn't last long, but when it's happening, that's cool. And it's happening. Remember The Happening? Mark Wahlberg? Terrible movie. No, <laughs> it was okay. It was kind of okay. Alright. Getting right into it. Oh. She looks like she's been through a lot. Oh! That was pretty creepy. Alright, good one. I could hear breathing in a mask. A skin mask, I think. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. Live there? Somewhere safe. It's not just some trip. That shot kind of reminds me of Jessica Biel exploring the house in that particular <laughs> Texas Chainsaw remake. Ah! Uh! <gasps> really? I'm afraid your old friend's back. Okay. Why do all Netflix movies look like that? Still, the content of <laughs> cinematography aside. Just to see him again. I'm digging this. The story, the the setup. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. That's the catchphrase of the day. Word of the day. Whoa. Damn. Okay, I like it. Oh. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all remember Darth Vader? towards the end of Rogue One. <laughs> O-M-G. Okay. Okay. You know what? All Netflix movies kind of look alike in terms of, I don't know, something about the cinematography. It's the same with Marvel movies, but at the same time, that's not saying that the content of, or, you know, you know what I mean, the subject matter, the... The performances, the dialogue, the script. It's not to say it doesn't shine through. And in this instance, oh my God. <laughs> it's, uh, I know I've said, I've said this before, it's the same, but different. I like it. I really like it. In fact, I liked it so much. I can't wait. <laughs> but yeah, oh, that's another, speaking of catchphrases, I, I tend to say that at the end of a lot of videos. Yeah. So let's try something different. I'm Snoopaloo. Remember to like and subscribe. I really should be saying that more. But yeah. <laughs> really looking forward to it. Damn. Don't know what else to say, really. Yeah. Did you know that the very first assembly of photographs to create a motion picture was a two-second clip of a black man on a horse? And that man is my great-great-grandfather. Great. But that's why, back at the Haywood Ranch, as the only black-owned horse trainers in Hollywood, we like to say, since the moment pitches could move, we had skin in the game. What was with all the wacky-waving inflatable arm tube men there for a second? Okay. I literally have no idea what this movie's gonna be about. I was wondering what that green screen had to do with anything. Because <laughs> when you... It gives you, like, a, a preview. Like shows you bits from the trailer. I tried to ignore it, but I seen a green screen and I was like... Whoa, what was that? What's a bad miracle? 
Good question. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Is it aliens? I think it may be aliens. Okay. When she got flung up in the air like that, that kind of reminded me of uh, The Forgotten. Remember that movie? With... What's her name? Julianne Moore. I thought that was pretty good too. This... <laughs> Alright, I'm intrigued. But this did a good job of not like giving <laughs> too much away. Uh, you know what? Is this really just like a straight up alien invasion movie with a twist? So I guess it wouldn't really be straight up an alien invasion movie with a twist. Like a spin on it. Jordan Peele style, something we haven't seen before. No oh, man, this looks really awesome. Yeah. Glad I saw it <clears throat> after my smoking a coffee. Bonging a blitz, smoking a pancake. And now I'm at a loss for words. No, for real. The imagery, everything, cinematography, all that. The actors, oh my god, this is going to be good. I, I'm, I, You know, if anything, I wanted more. That was too little. <laughs> Very little idea. But from that, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. God damn. Yeah, show me more. Something feels weird. Bloomhouse has been on such a roll. Zac Efron's the father? If you ever start to lose control, what do you do? It didn't work. She's not a robot, Annie. She's a little girl. If they catch her, they're gonna put her in a cage. Charlie? They're gonna run tests on her for the rest of her life. If who catches me? As much as I love the Drew Barrymore one, now that like the special effects have improved so much since that first movie came out... You're special, Charlie. This is a good movie to remake. I know so many movies are remakes now. Oh. There are a few exceptions. Let her go or it's gonna get a lot worse. Where's mommy? Tell me now! A real life superhero. Oh shit. That's the only way that you can control it. Spontaneous combustion of a crow. She may be capable of a nuclear explosion. Run, Charlie! On your knees! Simply with the force of her mind. Who's Red playing? Huh? The guy who does the nose thing? Never use your gifts oh, to her shoe. Only her bad people, I promise. Oh, man. Trust me, Charlie. That you would be so be intense. Free. That's an intense situation. Little girls are scary, for real. The Exorcist, The Ring, The Grudge. Children of the Corn. I could keep going. <laughs> the Orphan. Fudge. Yeah, that looks good. That would be like a terrifying situation to be in. Not enough horror movies come up with like <clears throat> legitimately. No, I guess that's not true. There's a, you know what, if I sat here, I, I could think of. Yeah, it's just that being a horror movie fan is tough sometimes because there's so much crap that comes out, but there are a lot of good ones like that Evil Dead remake. That's a horrifying concept, okay? <laughs> to be possessed by an evil entity that literally just like wants to F you the hell up. I don't know what I'm doing with this. Like, I guess I'm stabbing myself. Uh, scary. Ooh, this is scary too. <laughs> uh, demon child, no. <laughs> I mean, we all went through that phase. Yeah. Imagine if he had superpowers. Crap. Imagine if he could light people on fire. Just from thinking about it. You ever watch Angela Anaconda? I don't know if that's a Canadian show or not. I think it might be here. Might have played here. <laughs> or was that show just a fever dream? But, uh, no, they played it at the beginning of Digimon, the first movie. At least in Canada. <laughs> I don't know, but literally in every episode she would imagine a scenario of like 
bad things happening to her enemies. Like, it's such a normal childhood thing. <laughs> uh, freaky. Looks good. I like it. I dig it. <laughs> 